this was sort of a no-brainer. They came to me and said, do we want you to do this movie? And Daniel Radcliffe is doing it, and the director from Goon is directing it, and here's the script. And I read it, and it made me laugh out loud. And I said yes. Yeah. That was, it was pretty simple. Yeah, I mean, pr pretty much the same for me. I, I got the script, and I, I read it, and I loved it. And then I had a uh, conversation with Michael Dowse, the director. And just uh, just because I always, you know, you like to sort of get to know the person a bit to find out if you get on. And, you know, we did immediately. And then, yeah, as I said, it was a no-brainer, really, with a script this good. When something's good, when it's like easy to learn, and it, you just like you know, and you don't have to, it's really easy to memorize, and I think that's it. All just sounds like stuff you would say in actual you know dialogue, and so it was just and that, and also I suppose the fact that it was just um, it felt like a more realistic version of romantic comedies than we've maybe seen before. I play Shantri. She's an animator. Um, she's in a long-term relationship. Uh, not unhappily in a long-term relationship. She's very close with her little sister Dahlia, played by Megan Park. And um, then I meet this guy, and uh, we become friends. I play Wallace, uh, who is a med school dropout and slightly sort of um, a, a disenchanted with uh, love and romance. He's had his heart broken and sort of um, just hasn't dealt with it very well and it's kind of gone into a, a place where he's he's just sort of given up on the idea of love or romance or is is pretending to himself that he has and then uh, yeah then I, I meet Chantry at a party and th th that my my notions of love are, are, are renewed I think it is like at first sight you know I think it's one of those like challenging things just because you're in a relationship doesn't mean that like that part of your brain turns off. You know, um, when they first meet Chantry and Wallace, Chantry doesn't mention that she has a boyfriend until like the last possible second yeah. on that evening. Which is basically um, like saying you want to be in a relationship with them. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's basically. <laughs> you know, Elaine, before we started shooting was like, you know, I feel like she's really dry. Like, you know, it's really hard to like make her laugh. You know, it's like, okay, okay. And then, and then you started improvising, I was like, <laughs> 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 but also, yeah, I, yeah, the improvising stuff was great fun, like particularly at that party in during all the party scenes, and then like in the cab scenes, and just like I would just basically tell you horrendously embarrassing <laughs> things from my childhood. And none and of them ended up in the movie. None of them ended up in the movie, which I'm gr which is great. My best friend is uh, Alan, played brilliantly by Adam Driver, who uh, is just. Um, he's, uh, they're the kind of best friends that I kind of envisage, like they were roommates at college and that's the only way they could have possibly become best yeah. friends, like they, in any other situation, had they met in another kind of life, they probably would have hated each other, but because they would like clump together for a few months, they had to like, they became very, very close. Shantry's sister Dahlia is played by Megan Park, who is a fantastic Canadian actress. Um, and, uh, yeah, Megan and I just sort of hit it off immediately. I feel like um, she has a sister uh, the same age as me, and I have a sister the same age as her, so there was like a built-in structure that we understood. <laughs> um, she's just so funny in the movie. There are so many things that I didn't even notice that she was doing on set, that, and when I saw the movie, I was like, oh my god, Pam, <laughs> you scene stealer. Mackenzie's amazing, and she's brilliant in the movie, and uh, just really, really funny. And her and uh, her and Adam are such a weirdly brilliant fit. I just, I just think, yeah, it was. I was, about, I was about to say, just they just cast this movie really well. And then I realised that's a big compliment. I'm com <laughs> complimenting myself by saying that. <laughs> you could say like they cast all the supporting parts of this movie really well. I'm saying that. I tasted it. I love it. I, it's fantastic. No, no, I, I don't know no, why you're so against it. No. You're very vehement about your <laughs> dislike for Fool's Gold. I'm just like, it's... Look, I wouldn't eat a whole thing to myself of it, <laughs> but a, a slice? Yeah, it's great. It's, oh, yeah, and so for anyone that doesn't know, Fool's Gold is um, a loaf of bread hollowed out with um, a half a pound of bacon and an entire jar of, uh, jar of peanut butter and an entire jar of jam just all slammed together. Coated in butter and baked. It's a minor that's, detail. That's the detail that puts it over the edge. Oh, really? Okay. 
why do two people like each other? Why are they drawn to each other? What do they share? What yeah. kind of like jokes do they find funny? What things do they find sad? And just two people getting to know each other. I thought that was really cool. And there was something very real about the way that their relationship is kind of or, or has its origins in humor and just taking the piss out of each other. And you know, there's something that, as you say, there's something that feels very authentic about that. I feel like that's how people do interact on the whole when they first meet. I really have never had as much fun, I think, as I had on this movie in yeah. terms of just like being with great people and having a good time and also really liking what you're working on. Yeah, absolutely. And there, and, but there were, you're right, there was never a day of coming in and being like, even, you know, even when we had to go into the water naked, like that was actually fun.